What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of the German Bear Podcast and today we got the fourth big film room episode of the 2023 Chicago Bears free agency in newly acquired tight end Robert Tunyon. And Robert Tunyon is obviously a well-known name throughout the NFC North after playing five years with the Green Bay Packers. And now the Chicago Bears snagged the very talented passing threat from the Packers, which is obviously great as well in that deal. Now for his contract details to get it out of the way right away, I don't know. Honestly, he got a one-year deal, but we don't know the contract details yet. But I'd imagine it's something like the previous two years where he got one-year deals with the Packers as well. So in that range between three and five million. I would imagine overall for the signing I'm so excited for this one because after especially watching a tape I think he's a really good fit with the Chicago Bears and just such a great backup option uh, behind Cole Komet to first of all give him some snaps off but also still be effective on offense but also on 12 personnel uh, 22 personnel whatever 13 personnel at times maybe even I think Robert Tunyon just fits in perfectly to that Chicago Bears offense and I'm just also so happy that Justin Fields once again got another weapon on offense after adding DJ Moore, offensive lineman Nate Davis, now Robert Tunyon, plus also Dante Foreman. They signed him to a one-year, $3 million deal as well. Thinking about making a film room, not sure if I will do, but today Robert Tunyon will be a really good episode, I promise, as well. But Bears adding some weapons to offense. Ryan Poles does what he promised, which is giving Justin Fields a bit more uh, to work with, and I think they definitely did that so far. And I think, like I said, Robert Tunyon is a really good signing in this offseason. Kind of depends on the price, that's why I don't want to grade it, but I think it's nonetheless a B plus to probably A plus signing, depending on the price, like I said. But for Robert Tunyon's stats, real quick, he had to bounce back from a big torn ACL in 2021, so in 2022 was a pretty key year for him, but I think he did really solid. Played in 17 games, started all three of those, so he stayed healthy, first of all. Had 53 catches, 470 yards, and two touchdowns with a catching percentage of 79.1%. Also had a huge season before that in 2020 uh, with uh, 52 catches, 586 yards, and 11 touchdowns, and also looked really good what we saw out of him in 2021 before that injury. But now he got another complete offseason to recover from that and just let his body heal, right? So I think he will be even better in 2023 from an athletic standpoint and just health standpoint. So I think that's a great point as well for him uh, and that he was signed by the Chicago Bears. So I'm really excited about that. But Overall, for today's Film Room episode, we will talk about his 2022 tape, uh, the th stuff that he just did lately, but also had some clips in there from the 2021 season before that injury. And with that being said, I'm so excited to talk Robert Tunyon today. Really good addition. And with that being said, let's start off with today's Film Room. <music> And overall, what can I say about Robert Tunyon after watching his game tape? I think what definitely pops out, and we will mainly talk about, uh, first of all, about his ability in the passing game because he was not used as a blocker as much because the Packers had two other really good blocking tight ends with Mercedes Lewis and I don't know the name of the other guy but number 81 right but uh, they were the blockers for them mainly and Robert Tunyon was a passing threat guy as a tight end but he did have some blocks as well looked solid in those blocks but I think it's not that interesting today today I want to look at and show you guys what he can do for Justin Fields in the passing game overall his size and speed combo is outstanding. I think he's a really good athlete with really good quickness off the line. His hands are phenomenal as well. Hand-eye coordination is good and then just as soon as he is at the catch point, he's almost making every catch because he just holds on to the balls, right? He has so strong hands. Also, uh, solid route running for his size and his weight. Really solid route running as well, separating from DBs, linebackers, whatever it is. Zone understanding is really good as well, just recognizing zone and then just sitting uh, where the green is. And then also his yak ability is pretty big as well. And for me, the biggest point, how he fits in to the Chicago Bears offense and why he would be so fun is himself as a seam threat, uh, which is absolutely phenomenal what he does on the field. One example would be against 
the New England Patriots. And what he does so well in that situation is just attacking the defense, right? Threatening the defense with his speed and quickness off the line. Then gets behind the linebacker for a huge catch in traffic for a touchdown. And then just also great job locating the football on this play, just showing that his eyes are on the ball and that he really looks it into his hands and just one heck of a play there, getting behind the defense against that cover two look, attacking the seams. Another really good example in 2021 against the Washington football team back then, where it was once again a middle of the field open look with two high safeties just once again great understanding by Tanyan against the zone knowing where where he has to get to right his landmark and then once again a really good catch to get behind the defense get behind the linebackers and in front of the safeties on another very beautiful completion on a seam route and then another play where he was absolutely outstanding was again 2021 against the Detroit Lions Great route attacking the linebacker. I think that's Alexander Anzalone on that play. Gets past him fast and then just a beautiful hole shot. Also got to give credit there for uh, Aaron Rodgers. Pretty damn good pass. And then what I love about Tanyan though in that situation is that he flashes the hands late. So the linebacker is chasing him because he got past him so quickly. Like chasing him, right? And he flashes the hands late so he can't see when the ball is actually coming to Robert Tanyan. And then just getting in front of the safety as well and making one heck of a catch for a touchdown there one of my favorite plays that he made all day long watching his tape one heck of a play there as well and I just would love to see that as well in Chicago's offense right attacking the seams and just see Justin Fields threading the needle just in between linebacker and safeties for some big chunk plays and Robert Tunyon is the perfect option for those plays Also displayed some great hands on tape as well. Now back in 2022 against the Detroit Lions. He ran a corner route, somewhat of a corner route, against the safety. And the safety did a pretty damn good job locking him up at first. But uh, then separation at the top of the route does really well as well. Just using a slight push to separate, right? That's still legal. Using a slight push to separate at the top of the route. And then Tanya just goes up and mosses the guy completely Great concentration on the play, strong hands at the catch point, not letting anybody get that ball out of his hands, and then also just one heck of a play by Robert Tunyon just to go up and get it. I could see that definitely be a big factor in the red zone for maybe the Chicago Bears, how they want to use him as well, just that ability to go up and get the damn football. And also, like I mentioned before, his route running is pretty damn underrated as well. One beautiful play against the Buccaneers, where he ran just a simple slant route, but but against Levante David, one of the better pass coverage uh, linebackers in the entire NFL. And Levante David tries to press him with a one-hand punch. And uh, just Tanyan fights it off so quickly in a hurry with a rip move. That was beautiful. And then good quickness and acceleration to keep that distance that he created with that rip move right away. And then just an easy completion right there for Aaron Rodgers. That was a beautiful play. Another one, a five and out against the New York Jets, uh, where he has leverage and works away to the sideline, which is great understanding, first of all. Uh, The linebacker slips on the play, though, so I don't know if it was his route, but he made a pretty sharp cut on that play as well, which I like that's why I have it somewhat in the route running category here right and then just catch the football and goes up field right away really easy completion there as well then another one against the Minnesota Vikings where he ran a circus route but on a circus route you usually have a 45 degree stem running right but he sells it as he's kind of running a OTB route so over the ball sitting over the center route right sells it perfectly everybody fooled by that and then just turns it up field presses the defense and then gets wide open at the back of the end zone working towards the back pylon also seeing the open grass working to it for a beautiful touchdown right there by Robert Tunyon as well and then another route against the Washington Commanders in 2021 where he was an absolute mismatch against the linebacker using his speed and quickness off the line to his advantage threatens the linebacker and then great job at the top of the route again on that corner route separating with a little push right of the hand just separating of the linebacker great play wide open in the end zone being isolated there against the linebacker huge 
mismatch. Would love to see that against other teams as well when we have him on the Bears. And then also against the Dolphins in 2022. Again, a dig route, so a 10 and in. Separation is key right there just for that completion, right? And just using his arm slightly once again to get away from the DB this time, which is obviously tough as a tight end who's heavier to get away from a DB, but does a great job there separating. And then also has the speed as well, athletic ability to keep that distance after he created that one, not letting uh, the DB close in to get a pass breakup. Big play by him on that one as well. And then one last big ability that I want to talk about today with Robert Tunyon is pretty much his yak ability in combination as well at times with the screens. So one screen of 2021 where he played against the Detroit Lions, uh, he had a traditional tight end screen, right? Just sells the block perfectly and then the line gets in front of him, he gets out and then just runs for a huge chunk play, just showing right there his, uh, his athletic ability ability and gaining speed in a hurry and the Bears also love to run tight end screens so he would be a great addition to those as well so you can use him and Cole Komet mix it up a bit right and then he was also used in certain quick screen situations when they were tacked on to the run game. So he lined up mostly next to the tackle on the backside. There was one example against the Tennessee Titans and then he just runs into the flats with a quick out. You got to blocker in front as a wide receiver right and if Aaron Rodgers likes that mismatch or that that matchup with basically no one lined up over Robert Tunyon in that situation or just has tons of leverage right he takes that matchup and then gets the ball into Tunyon's hands and he showed some bursts especially against the Titans right there and also fought for every single extra yard possible that's what I love about his game as well so he's definitely a guy that you can use in the screen game in various situations that play specifically that tagged on screen with him getting into the flats they played that multiple times and he made some really good chunk yards I wouldn't say chunk plays but uh, some couple of yards uh, definitely on every single one of those for some good gains and then like I said tight end screens work with him perfectly as well as for his other yak ability plays against the Vikings in 2022 a really good example speaking about burst uh, right there just acts like a blocker then gets out into the flats for the check down Rodgers finds him quickly and then is absolutely wide open because he got two deeper routes that kind of dragged away that defense on that play and then just showed his speed to gain some extra yards which looked absolutely phenomenal then another play against the New York Jets once again it's more of a minor play but he showed some agility on that one as well just pretty much same play for him or same route just a flat route after blocking for a second and then the corner is there pretty easily or pretty fast in that situation but Robert Tunyon cuts back inside and gains some extra yards just showing some ability and flexibility in his hips to make some people miss obviously that's not his go-to move but it was a pretty fun play to watch there as well and then one last ability that I want to talk about with Robert Tunyon in today's film room is his ability to stay active when a play breaks down one example against the New York Jets again initially runs a corner route would have been pretty open I think against that zone coverage but Aaron Rodgers is forced to roll out because of pressure and then Tanyan recognizes that fast and then separates and works to the sideline where the quarterback is rolling out to great catch to help out your quarterback and I think that's a big ability we need in Chicago as well especially without knowing how the offensive line will play next year I have high expectations but obviously at times there will be a broken play so it's good to see Robert Tunyon keep working on those plays and another perfect example for that would be against the Detroit Lions where he initially runs a seam route right great seam threat but they defended that kind of well and then uh, Rodgers scrambles out Tanyan stays in between the zone right they were in zone coverage stays in between the zone and just is a perfect open friendly target right there for Aaron Rodgers Rodgers finds him and once again helps out the quarterback after a broken play so I think that's a very underrated ability by our player and should definitely be highlighted today as well and with that being said for a quick little overlook about Robert Tunyon I think he's a phenomenal fit into the Chicago Bears system he will be a seam thread right away especially against cover two and also what I forgot to mention is Luke Getze obviously offensive coordinator knows him well from the time with the Green Bay Packers 
linebacker, so he also knows how to utilize him the right way as well, which is a big point as well. But it will be a really good seam threat. As soon as the ball is in his hands, he's also able to make some moves and just run down straight line, be pretty fast as well after the catch, like I said. And then also just his ability to go up and get the ball is pretty impressive as well, has some really good hands, and is a pretty underrated route runner as well. And I think overall, for a one-year deal, that's such a low risk for a player that could contribute kind of a lot in 2023, to be honest, for that offense. But overall, I think it's a massive addition to this offense to give Justin Fields another tight end to truly work with. And it's such a big upgrade over Ryan Griffin and James O'Shaughnessy from last year. And with that being said, that's the end of the episode, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. Definitely let me know in the comments down below what you think of the signing of Robert Tunyon to the Chicago Bears. Like and subscribe if you liked the video. Feel free to check out Twitter if you want to as well. And as always, guys, bear down.